Hello. Today we are going to set up a filter for business users and office billing plans. We will adjust the router configuration, particularly the DNS settings. Please prepare the admin credentials of your router. Let's start with the main filter configuration tool, the Safe DNS dashboard. We will do most of the configuration using this tool. On the main page of the dashboard, you can see summary information of your account, the status of the filter, account email, your public IP address, and the subscription type. A bit lower section of the main page shows the manuals and guides on how to configure the service. Once the DNS requests are received by our server, the status of the filter will start showing the number of the allowed and blocked domains. First of all, to start filtering, we need to set up DNS servers on your router. Please access the web interface of your router and locate the DNS server options. It depends on the model of router, but in most cases, DNS setup can be found on the Network Configuration tab or WAN tab. Please use the IP addresses of the DNS servers from the dashboard. For more detailed setup information, please go to the tab Help, Guides, or visit docs.safedns.com to find detailed instructions. The next step is setting up your filtering rules on the Safe DNS dashboard. Please go to the Settings tab and add the public IP address of your router here. Please copy the IP address from the field Your IP Address at the top of the page and paste it into the IP address field and assign a needed filtering policy to your IP. At this point, the filtering setup is completed. Let's adjust the filtering policy and categories of blocked domains. Policies are the filtering rules applied to the router and all devices connected to it. The default policy is already applied to the public IP. You can always create a custom policy in the Settings Policy section. The different policies can be applied to certain groups. For example, Finance, Logistics, Management should have specific Internet access, while the IT might need Internet access without significant restrictions. In this case, four independent filtering policies can be applied. Let's create these filtering policies. However, if you want to achieve more granular filtering rules inside of your network, you can use our feature named NatDNS. NatDNS is a service feature designed to apply different filtering policies to different networking hardware, routers, gateways, end user computers, etc. Behind NAT is one public IP. You will find it in the Settings tab at the bottom of the page. Now all the devices that have this IP address will be filtered using the policy management. Same applies to other IP addresses. Let's configure filtering rules. You can set your filtering rules using categories, app blocker, or allow deny lists. What is the category? SafeDNS has a huge database of domains that are categorized as entertainment, business sites, adult sites, etc. For example, if there is a need to block adult content in your network, you simply lock the category and all known domains as adult sites will be blocked. Don't forget to save the changes. To adjust the categories of blocked domains, open the Categories menu at the top. Click on the lock icon to block or unblock the category. If more than one policy is configured, in our case, we do have four policies. Then first you need to select the policy that you are going to change and then, within the selected policy, you can adjust the access to the certain group. Safety DNS filter is compliant with security projects, SIPA, IWF, HIPAA, Project Arachnid, and BPGM, the German Youth Protection Standards. The support of those projects ensures a high level of protection for your network and users. Most of the mentioned security projects were created to protect the youth generation from the harmful influence but might be useful for business organizations as well. For a more granular filter setup, certain applications or services can be blocked without blocking the whole category. To do that, click on the App Blocker tab and choose the policy that you want to change.
So we are selecting policy attributed to finance, and now we are blocking access to the file sharing services and Facebook by simply clicking on the lock. then we are saving the changes. The two important features that may help to restrict access to harmful content are Force Safe Search and Force Restricted Mode for YouTube. The first feature will not show in search engine results the explicit content or pornography, while the second feature can help screen out potentially mature content. It can be configured from the dashboard Settings Advanced. We are selecting the policy to apply, activating Force Safe Search and Force Restricted Mode for YouTube. To block or allow a certain domain, open the Allow List or Deny List tab and add this domain to the list. These lists have priority over the categories and app blocker. By default, each filtering policy shows the standard block page for blocked websites. You can create a custom block page in the Settings Advanced section. So we are selecting this policy, and the custom block page can be created here. Choose the appearance, name, description, and file, and click Add. This is what we wanted to share with you in this video. Hope it was useful and can help you in setting up the service. To get more information about setup, please visit our blog and help tab from the dashboard. That's all for today. Bye.